this embryology model shows development of phase phase mainly develops from three processes this is frontal process or frontal nasal process this is maxillary process this is mandibular process frontal process descends down and within the frontal process there will be appearance of two nasal placards these two are the nasal placards these nasal placards will be invaginated and becomes a nasal cavity actually because of this appearance of nasal placards frontal process has been divided into median nasal process and two lateral nasal process this medial nasal process further divided into two processes here this is one process and this is another process this process what we are calling globular processes these are two globular processes in between the two globular process the here notch is there this notch what we are calling globular notch so frontal process has been divided into median nasal process and two lateral nasal process and here this is maxillary process this is mandibular process because of profuse development of maxillary and mandibular process this two maxillary process will be pushing the lateral nasal process so that frontal nasal process will be protruded forwards so see here this is the maxillary process this maxillary process is developing and pushing the lateral nasal process towards medial side on either side and this process what is this maxillary process fuses with the lateral nasal process and the lower part of the maxillary process will be pushing forwards so that these two globular process will be fused and becomes the philtrum of upper lip and upper lip here two mandibular process are there actually before they are not fused during early development these two mandibular process also will be fused and forms the chin what i am trying to say here nose is formed by frontal nasal process and the upper part of the cheek and upper lip formed by maxillary process then lower part of the cheeks and lower lips are formed by the mandibular process right if there is any failure to fuse with one another which leads to clefts what are those clefts we will see now see here this is maxillary process this is lateral nasal process if there is failure in the fusion of lateral nasal process and the maxillary process which leads to oblique facial cleft this one see here actually this is the lateral nasal process and here the maxillary process these two has to fuse if there is failure in the fusion of lateral nasal process and the maxillary process which leads to oblique facial cleft so this is oblique facial cleft then here unilateral cleft lip why it has happened see here this is the globular process and this is the maxillary process actually this maxillary process has to fuse with globular process if there is failure of fusion of globular process and maxillary process which leads to unilateral cleft lip then if it happens both sides see here this is one globular process this is one globular process this is maxillary process and this is maxillary process this maxillary process and this maxillary process these two process has to push the globular process right and they have to fuse if there is failure in the fusion of maxillary process and globular process which leads to bilateral cleft lip so this is the development of face and their abnormalities here oblique facial cleft is there no during the development this is the maxillary process and this is lateral nasal process before fusing some of the ectoderm will be buried in between the lateral nasal process and the maxillary process that ectoderm will forms one cord that cord will be canalized and forms a nasolacrimal duct so in case of oblique facial cleft there is no fusion between the lateral nasal process and maxillary process so there is no formation of nasolacrimal duct also that's what whatever the lacrimal secretions within the conjunctival sac that will be drained directly over the face this is the oblique facial cleft this is development of face and their abnormalities in brief